Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, methamphetamines and so have you ever seen the mummy movies? So I'm going to sh be showing you a short clip just to enlighten you on one of the side effects called cytosis, um, parasitosis that you develop from um, using meth and the addiction of it. So right here I'm going to show you a short clip. And later on in the topic, I'll be going over more about parasitosis and what that is. So methamphetamines are a serious drug um, that take control of your body in ways that you wouldn't expect. So there's a lot of long-term and short-term effects um, that not only um, affect you, but the people around you. So in Fresno County, it's become commonly misused, especially in... Um, in our age group and as college students i know that we opt a lot to exploring at at our age and it can be helpful to understand some of what it can do to you so i myself had the misfortune of um, being really close to somebody the father of my kids fell into a meth addiction so that is where i'm getting some of the firsthand experiences um and um some knowledge on how it can ruin your life and the person the people around you so today, um, I'm going to be going over what methamphetamines are, what they do to your body, the signs that you'll be able to tell, and how they can affect you and your partner. So to start, I'm going to be telling you what exactly methamphetamines are. So according to and the Encyclopedia Britannica, methamphetamines, which are also called desoxyphedrine, and also known as speed, is a potent and addif addictive uh, stimulant drug that affects the central nervous system so when it's first when it's issued as a prescription they deem it safe because they give it in lower doses so they use it to uh, treat things such as ADHD narcolepsy and obesity when it's prescribed it's um, prescribed under the name desoxin so now that you know what it is let me tell you what exactly it does so methamphetamines create an increase in your physical activity and it also acts as an uh, appetite suppressant. So the longer you're using it, the more um, uh, powerful the side effects are. And um, the side effects, Britan uh, Britannica academics say the side effects are aggression, paranoia, kidney and lung disorders, brain and liver damage, chronic depression, immune defici deficiency disorder, convulsions and schizophrenia so um when meth is used recreationally it can be taken in different forms you'll see it in a powder form also known as crystal meth more a more relatable term it could also be sniffed through a hollow tube or by injection um, into your veins in a similar way that heroin is injection in injected so next i'd like to talk to you about the signs you'll see on someone who is abusing methamphetamines so some of the signs are obviously going to be in your skin. Um, those are unavoidable areas in most cases because on a daily basis, uh, most people have interactions and those are going to be visible. So Dr. Hedfirm, a dermatologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, says that when, you're, when patients come in, it's going to be, you're going to want to ask the right questions and look very carefully at their skin. So, um, so the common person... Um, who is using methamphetamines will think of scabies as the cause for their skin irritations. Um, so for um, a clinical term they use for meth users, it would be called meth mites. And a person is going to start to pick at their skin and when they're picking at their skin, it's gonna leave open lesions and wounds and it's gonna look really bad. So oftentimes, um, a user is going to be in denial so when they're seeking clinical help it's going to be often harder for them to admit and most never return for treatment so another sign you can look out for are delusions and um, parasitosis which is what I showed you um, in the video of the mummy just kind of an example of how they're sort of feeling when they're thinking that um, it, the effect, it causes them to feel like they have insects crawling on the inside of their skin. So, like, literally, they feel like 
there's things in their faces which lead to them picking at their skin with sharp objects and needles and ultimately that's going to lead to infections and if the abuser wants to heal their skin dr hepburn states that the drug has to be fully cleansed from your body to even start seeing results so it's going to be really important that um, a user stops and um, stops I think for uh, it says two weeks at a time uh, two weeks minimum and then they'll start seeing results so lastly I just like to talk to you about how um, it can affect your partner by being a user there is IPV which is um, called intimate partner violence among men and women so it occurs when you're being intimate or romantic with a partner um, in a drug and alcohol review by Melissa H. Watt et al., um, she states that methamphetamine in particular um, makes, um, it induces neuropsychological effects that impact social cognitive functioning, which can make individuals more vulnerable to IPV and more likely perpetrate IP IPV towards a sexual partner. So withdrawals from the drug or spaced out use of the drug can also increase the dopamine, which produces a feeling of euphoria, hypersexuality, and increased energy. So this can, um, so the user can become more aggressive and due to the craving of the drug, and that's what's going to create the potential aggression. So now that I've given you like an overlook of what methamphetamines are, let's do a recap. So first I told you what they were, uh, what the effects they were on your body and the physical signs. And lastly, I went over how they can affect you in a relationship. Um, personally, I've lost a fiance to a methamphetamine drug addiction and have experienced it firsthand. It's painful, stressful, and it can bring you down even though you aren't the user. So please be smart, refrain from any misuse of illegal substances. If you ever need help or know anyone who is struggling with addiction, there are resources available. You can visit SAM hsa.gov or call 1-800-662-HELP. Thank you.